a fallen hero returns home. Today, the body of Sergeant Michael Paranzino was flown back to Rhode Island, arriving at Quonset State Airport. The 22-year-old father of two was killed a week ago today in Afghanistan by an improvised explosive device. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live in Middletown. It's a difficult, dangerous war in a faraway place, but now the death of Army Sergeant Michael Paranzino in Afghanistan is hitting hard here in his native Middletown. The ethic that I taught Michael was to always try to help, never make it worse, do your best. He loved his children so much, and all I can think to do is just to honor him. I'm just going to do everything I can to raise them the way he was raised, and respect and honesty. He, he'll be in St. Columba uh, Cemetery, uh, and that has the same view of the Harry Kinsett Bay as he has that he grew up in, in our home. We will be able to visit him whenever we want to, whenever we can. Everyone's come out of the woodwork offering us assistance in any way that, that's possible. And that really means so much to us that others are honoring Michael's memory with love and respect. I do consider my husband a hero. He sacrificed himself taking care of, of me and our children, you know, and, it's, and, our, and to protect our country. A family giving voice to the incalculable cost of war. Live in Middletown with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. The wake for Surgeon Michael Paranzino is Sunday from 4 to 8. It will be held at the Memorial Funeral Home on Broadway in Newport. A funeral mass is set for Monday morning at 1030 at St. Lucie's Church in Middletown. Police are encouraging those who are not attending the services to avoid the area because the procession will cause some traffic delays.